This is my next project. I picked this up at a Costco Price Club, and it installs. It's got the three legs that you hammer into the ground, and that holds it steady in the ground. And you'll see it also turns around. But we already have this one. So what we're going to do is we are going to convert this long weather vane to a short weather vane, and we're going to install it up on top of my portico. Right up, up there. So I already, for the mount, I already purchased a Good Directions brand roof mount that will is adjustable, as you can see. So depending on the angle, actually it'll fit all angles because I can adjust it to uh, ensure it does. And there's some great videos already from Good Directions that I will post in my video um, in case there's any problem with the installation of this um, roof mount. Good Directions. Everything's included. So the only thing I'm going to have an issue with um, is I bought three quarter inch, but the three quarter inch is uh, tight to fit in there, so I'm going to have to make a sleeve for my weather vane mount to fit on top of, like an in between sleeve. Um, I already bought a piece of steel for that. There's a piece of steel I bought, just raw steel, and this is um, three quarter by 36 inch. It says plain steel, a sixteenth inch thick, and this fits perfectly inside the mount, and it also fits perfectly inside the part I'm going to need from the uh, weather vane. Uh, what I'll do is I'll drill holes um, through this and both sleeves while it'll mount in here with the two screws, and I'll slide the other sleeve onto this and then drill a hole through that and um, screw it into here. But um, what I'm also going to do is because this is just plain steel, I'm going to paint this. It's not going to be visible anyway. I'm just going to paint it to make sure it doesn't rust while it's up uh, on the roof. I decided that I'm going to paint the, uh, these brackets, the uh, roof mount. They're black right now and they're already painted, but uh, my roof is brown. so. Uh, I'm going to paint it with the same color I used on this rod, which is like a metallic copper. So it blends better on the, uh, on the roof when I install it. First coat. Better. It'll blend much better on the roof now. Decided I'm going to go with a, uh, a darker color. This is a basically a hammered um, metallic color like a bronze, and it's closer to the uh, pole right here. So I'm going to do a coat of that on the um, roof bracket. I first coat the hammered copper on the brackets. It'll match the roof better and also match that pole better. It's darker than uh, I left the rod, the original copper color. No reason to repaint that. None of it's going to show. Just painted it to uh, prevent rust. So, let that dry. And then give it one more coat. Alright, our brackets are all dry. Top piece. I'm just going to uh, dry fit everything together so the bolts will be all set. Bolted back together, lightly bolted. And I turned it around because I don't want, um, I just want the heads showing from this end. And I want these um, set screws to be. Uh, on the opposite side of the street so you don't see them from the street. So easy enough just to uh, took the nuts and bolts out and reverse them. Alright, so here's a rod that we need to mount. That's the end that uh, goes, the weather vane fits over that. Now it has a threaded coupling on the bottom and this threaded coupling would fit in here but I didn't feel that it would hold it tight enough and the threads inside this uh, pipe are very flimsy. So that's why I didn't choose to just uh, stick that in there and tighten it up with that first set screw. Here's what we're doing instead. Um, this rod that I painted, didn't paint the bottom because I'm going to cut this off. 
to where it needs to be cut after I, I fit it into here and it's much more solid. It goes the entire length of this pipe and it long than that uh, small coupling would have. So now I'm going to cut down this pipe after I measure out um, how far it's got to sit in here and then I'll cut it over here uh, so you won't see any of it. So this piece will end up sitting flush with that and that'll give me the height I need to. So I measured it up and uh, black line on there. Three and a half inches it came to that sits inside the uh, bracket. So now I have to put this sleeve over it and add three and a half inches so I know where to cut the entire length. And I measured another about three and a quarter to make sure none of this sticks out. A little between uh, three and a quarter and three and a half. I cut it off with the hacksaw and uh, obviously this will be inserted into here and we'll tighten it in there with the set screws. But I also have to drill through this rod to connect it to this rod to make sure it doesn't come out before I uh, set this up in here. Drilled it out. Um, stainless steel screw of course and I'm going to have this screw also facing away from the street so you don't see that. And I just got to push it a little more and that's the way it's going to sit and fit. Um, now it's a matter of uh, attaching the uh, roof rack up to the uh, up to the portico. Now these are the mounting bolts. Uh, one thing that wasn't included, I was surprised, and I always like having them, is uh, washers. Um, even though it's a tight fit in there, I still like using washers. So I went out to uh, Home Depot and picked these washers up. They're quarter-inch um, flat washers, stainless, of course. And I had to get two packs because there's uh, six in a pack and there's eight um, leg bolts. All right, up on the portico. Hot up here. To decide about how far from the end. Probably going to go about a foot and a half. Okay, I set the uh, bracket here. I drilled, as you can see, four holes. And now you have to fill each hole with a silicone seal. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Level it out and then tighten it all down. Now right, I got one side in and uh, getting ready to do the other side. Now, um, I flip this up and I put silicone over each hole and I also put silicone on the threads of each one of the uh, four bolts. So when I tighten it in, I just, uh, as precautionary, just to make sure it seals and there's no leaks. All right, that's tightened down, and that side's tightened down. I tightened this, I snugged this one, and now i am uh, got to make sure it's level. Tightening this one up will um, level this off. Just a little off, and I'm going to tighten it up right there. I put the set screws in and tighten those up because um, prior to, I mean after I uh, tighten this last nut up, I don't want to find out there was any movement after I leveled it. So next step is to make it perfectly level and tighten up uh, these last two. Okay, all tightened up and uh, that's where we're at. You can see that dead on. Now all we have to do is Put our windmill on, and we're set. One thing I decided to do, I ran a bead of uh, silicone around the circumference of the um, sleeve to prevent any water from going down into the brace and rusting the steel rod that's in there. Even though we painted it, there's no reason to take a chance. So I figured that would prevent any water from getting in and rusting the bottom of the uh, sleeve out. Just one last thing I like to do. Uh, I've got a uh, 716 socket. I'm just going to double check on these uh, leg bolts. And installed. This is the back side, a little bit of front, depending on how the wind blows. But uh, looks great. Looks great. Let me double check on these. All, right, all done. And there it is. Complete. Looks good. Happy with it. Oh, I had to get it spinning, right? 